Hey, this is Tom, and a quick word of caution to all the dip buyers and everybody who's rushing in to buy the dip. Not that I'm against it, I just want to give you a little bit of perspective why you should be a little bit cautious and don't go gaga over this latest, uh, you know, buying the dip opportunity. Well, a few things you need to understand. Um, as it stands right now, Pfizer has uh, yet another uh, a booster shot out and another new vaccine variant is out or should be out shortly so Pfizer will be fine we're gonna have 175,000 different vaccine boosters and variants they're gonna be making money until 2037 from this virus no problem it's their business good for them um, the latest news about the Omicron being uh, you know handled by the third booster quite effectively is gonna push the markets up as it already has done for the past two days uh, but here's a few words of perspective. Um, we're still about one Fed meeting away from completely uh, going into a recession. I mean, all the Fed really needs to do to push this market back down just to announce an interest rate spike or a faster taper. And then we're going to come crashing down again. Um, and that's something you need to consider because, you know, I don't like to be in the situation where I'm one announcement away from another crash. So just be careful. The other thing is you need to understand that we're just in the same uh, kind of manner. We're just about one new variant away, which is more contagious or even more, you know, more frightening away from another crash. It could be, you know, the grandpa, the drunk grandpa variant, you know, we're just one variant away from another crash. So be careful about that as well. And more importantly, look at the geopolitics. We got China trying to start a war with Australia. We got Russia trying to start a war with the Ukraine. US is getting in the middle of it now. So there's a lot of geopolitical tensions that might push the market down again. So there's a lot of shit going on right now that don't necessarily make this dip into, you know, the best things since sliced Putin, you know, just be careful. Uh, what I think is the right thing to do is ride it out, buy a little bit of the dip of the companies you are absolutely gaga about. For me, it's Palantir and Tesla, but for you, it might be different companies. And then, after the taper and then after the taper actually pushes the market into an even better buying position then it might be better to buy the dip definitely after we see what's going on with the geopolitical tensions definitely you know with when omicron is completely out of the picture and we don't have any new variants at least in the near future uh, i think then we might have a little bit of a better opportunity but still at these price levels you can still buy but just do it cautiously you know how they say in the commercials enjoy responsibly just enjoy responsibly.